I ordered maternity clothes from Shein, so you don't have to. Let's see how they hold up. I'm 19 weeks pregnant now, so I'm just starting to show, and I've had such a hard time finding maternity outfits anywhere, and that's true of my first pregnancy as well as this one now. My first pregnancy, I was mostly pregnant in the summer, so I had to buy a whole new set of clothes for this pregnancy since I'll be pregnant basically all winter. And I just didn't think it was worth spending a ton of money on maternity outfits that I'm truthfully only going to wear one time because I'm not getting pregnant again after this. Also want to add that I got a combo of stuff. I got stuff for my vacation coming up. I got some bathing suits and then I got some winter and Christmas outfits. First up is this two piece outfit and I'll show you what that's supposed to look like on the screen here. I got this for my vacation to Florida in a few weeks and I should be just about perfect, but I really like that this is stretchy so it can fit the shape of your stomach as you grow. This is super cute, so cute, oh my gosh. I have a little space to grow still to really fill it out and um, embrace my pregnancy. <laughs> but if you're going on vacation and you want something cute but also doesn't break the budget, this is a great find. Also, if you live in a warm climate, this can probably be worn year round. Like if you're living in Fort Lauderdale, Key West, someplace like that, this is a year round outfit for sure. The next outfit is also a two piece, which I will show you right here. This is how it looks before I've done any adjusting. Not gonna lie, I don't love it. I feel like the top is not um, long enough, especially since my bra is like right here. I feel like it's just a little too short. It should be longer. And if I lift my arms up, you of course see my bra, but I do want a close up show you how this works. So this is the adjuster. You pull this out and then little pockets right here allow you to clip it and tighten it and yeah this one will definitely be returned as much as I want to like it it's unfortunate next up is a pair of balloon pants not gonna lie I feel like these I'm a little worried about these just based on the size here's how they look on and I actually like them a lot. I feel like these are versatile too. Like I could wear them for vacation, but also be able to wear them like at home in the winter. Um, they're very stretchy, so I definitely won't be able to wear them outside of pregnancy, but I'm enjoying them. And I really don't follow the no white after Labor Day thing. I just don't care. Truly, honestly. The only thing that's missing here are pockets, but it's she and you get what you pay for, so. Okay, next up is a maternity bathing suit. This is what it's supposed to look like here, and this is what it looks like on. I feel like it fits perfectly. I love the way it looks. Not going back. Not really much else to say. It's a win for me. I'm really liking it. This is another bathing suit option. Here's how it's supposed to look here. I got it in the same size as the other one, but this one definitely has a little bit more room to grow. So just beware of that sizing difference. But I really like it and I'm gonna keep it. I'm always a fan of bright colors and fun patterns, especially in the summer, spring, and kind of the fall. So I try to keep it fun and interesting. Otherwise I kind of get bored with my wardrobe if it's just like black, white, brown all the time. But so far I'm loving this stuff and I feel like Cheap places like Shein are a great way to get like fun outfits that you can wear one, once or twice. And I know there's a big controversy about it, but a lot of boutiques that you order from that are US made are still ordering from Shein and then selling to you at a higher price, like all over, like take Nike for example. Maybe next time I'll thrift some things and see what I can find. All right, next up, we're getting into the winter stuff. And this is the outfit here that will be next that I'm wearing right now. And I have to mention the lighting is changing. The sun just came out. I'm doing natural lighting along with some of my own lighting. I was not expecting the sun to come out. So that's really nice. But okay, so here is this one. I have to say, I'm just a little disappointed. I expected this to taper in right here and then kind of give me room for the belly and it doesn't do that it's just kind of all the way down like the bodysuit is is it a bodysuit a jumper 
Yeah, okay, so it's a pink jumper. I got pink because we're having a little girl in March. I'm gonna keep it. I am a little disappointed, but I'm gonna keep it. It'll work well, it'll grow with my belly, and I can wear a long sleeve underneath, and it'll be cute. It looks really nice with my tan though, and I actually just applied a tan, so even doing this try and haul with a fresh tan is so risky. <laughs> Next up, we have maternity jeans and a nice cherry sweater, which I think will be really cute, but my husband and my mom both think that it's hideous, so we'll see. But I'm a little worried about the jeans because they just look like really big so i'm hopeful the last time i ordered jeans from sheen i ordered like my size and they came in a size too big so i'm kind of worried that that happened again here's the fit together so maybe i wouldn't wear these together the jeans are a little big but i really think i'll grow into them with pregnancy i had to use the strap to like really tighten them like as you can see i've tightened them quite a bit and they still feel like pretty loose, like a size too big probably. So that's disappointing. I'll probably have to try and see if they have a smaller size. And then this sweater wasn't really a maternity sweater. It was just something that I thought I could grow into. And I do think it's really cute. I just don't think these jeans are what would be that I paired with it. I also think it would be really cute with like a peekaboo bra or like some kind of super cute bra to go underneath. But I do think I can make it work. I just need to finagle a little, bit, a little bit. Let me know what you would do in the comments below. Also for reference, these are what both the jeans and the cherry sweater were advertised as on Shein. And then I'm gonna put on a white cami so you can see what the jeans look like on their own on me. Honestly, the longer I wear these jeans and the more that I look at them, the more I'm like, no, there's no way that I can keep these. They just look, they look so slouchy and awful and like, not, they're just way too big. So I'm gonna send them back and maybe see if I can get a smaller size, but I don't know. I don't, I don't even know if they're, I don't know. I'm annoyed because the reason that this order even happened was for the freaking jeans, because I know that I'll be wearing jeans all winter long. And of course they're the thing that doesn't fit. I brought on my Target jeans from the last time I was pregnant, just to show you an example. Um, I just feel like these are a little short here and then I also don't like the blue underneath because I feel like I can't wear white and I like to wear white in the winter. <laughs> um, but I'm going to be using these for the next item. So I'm going to be using these jeans for the final item, which the final winter shirt, I should say. The next item is a Christmas outfit and that's the last one. So this shirt was actually $7 and here's how it's supposed to look. It's a peplum top. I know those are super in in like the 2010s, but obviously they're gonna be in for a pregnant lady, right? This is cute, really cute. This will grow with me, really nice. And I actually think I like the jeans more with this top on. And let me just say that I think I've always unknowingly, unwittingly followed the contrast versus low contrast color scheme. I'm a low contrast person and I've always felt like black kind of washes me out, doesn't make me look so great. I'll still wear it, it's a basic color and it's classic, but I just prefer the beige, the lighter tones, and that's probably why I lean to wear like more white colors in the winter. Hopefully I explained that well. I feel like I said a lot of ums and likes and stops. Finally, we have these Christmas PJs and this is how they're advertised. They were in the maternity section, so I'm happy to report that if you're pregnant, these will take you through. And this is how it looks. You can tell which side is which without a tag because this side, the front, is bigger for your belly, obviously. And then, like with all of the other pants, they have this handy dandy little cooler so you can make it tighter or looser or whatever and i'm five foot four for reference so if they look a little small and you're taller you're gonna need to size up or try to see if there's like a longer length or something i'm pretty satisfied with my order overall although 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 i will be returning the jeans and then that two-piece outfit the navy blue one if you remember um just didn't hit for me 
but overall I'm like pretty satisfied. I have a ton of sweatpants and stuff from my last pregnancy, so I should be good there, but obviously if I need anything, I don't think sweatpants are too, too hard to find. I can definitely see myself making another order. As a matter of fact, I know that I'll make another order for paternity. Y'all, if you liked this video, let me know and I'll do more hauls from whatever place you want me to do a pregnancy haul from. I'm 19 weeks right now, so I'm about halfway through, but this belly is only gonna be getting bigger. Thanks for watching.